What is going on everybody? It is your boy Nothing But Skills and today I'm bringing you another division video. So many people were asking me about my sniper build when they saw my last global event video on how to get the mask fast. They saw that I was one-shotting all the bosses and everybody kept asking me, A Skills, what build are you running? A Skills, what gun is that? A Skills, what talents do you have? A Skills, how do you have that set up? So I decided, you know what? I haven't put this video out. I guess it was perfect timing as the next global event will have this gear set. So before we get into that video guys, if you're new to my channel and this is first time you're watching the video hit that subscribe button if you guys enjoyed this video hit the thumbs up and as always if you have any questions at the end of this video use the comment section down below so let's get into the video guys so yes I'm running hunters faith which I consider one of the best PvE snipers in the game now if you're on PC this might be one of the best PvP snipers for you too I still feel that Deadeye is the best PvP sniper in the game for console now it might be for PC but I don't play on PC so I can't tell you that but hunters faith is just a little bit too hard to land those headshots consistently with the controller so we're gonna get into this build a lot of you guys are gonna first ask what does hunter's faith even do because some of you haven't had a chance of picking up this gear set well let's talk about it real quick set 2 bonus is gonna give me 20% optimal range set bonus 3 is gonna give me 10% headshot damage set bonus 4th hunter's faith each consecutive shot with a bolt action marksman rifle that hits an enemy deals 3% more damage the damage bonus is increased by 4% for every 3,000 firearms the bonus damage is removed once a shot misses a target upon weapon swap reload or after after 10 seconds set bonus 5 is going to give me an additional 20% optimal range so that's a total of 30% optimal range and then it's going to give me an additional 10% headshot damage so that's a total of 20% headshot damage set bonus 6 hunter's precision headshots double the gain increased damage bonus two consecutive miss shots are needed to lose the bonus damage so that's why when you snipe with this weapon you're going to hit really hard and really high numbers as you guys saw at the very beginning of this video I was one shotting for 1.2 million even 2 million sometimes and up and that's that can happen a lot with Hunter's Faith because of the set bonuses that this gear set gives you. And now what we're going to do is we're going to break down this gear set. The primary firepower is 319,000. That's firearms of 9,800. The toughness is 313,000. That's stamina of 2,900. And then the skill power is 88,000. That's electronics of 2,900. For the chest piece, it's road firearms. It has enemy armor damage, health, and ammo capacity. With all my PvE builds, I stack enemy armor damage and damage to elites. So that's one thing you guys need to take away from this. No matter what build you run for PVE you should be stacking a lot of enemy armor damage and a lot of damage to elites so for my chest piece I have the enemy armor damage on there one other thing you guys can get are these prototype firearm mods they're purple mods and these have 4% damage to elites these are the max rolls you can get on damage to elites and they only come on purple mods the only way you can get these you can't craft them you have to go out and buy them a lot of times you can get them during the vendor resets so if one week they don't have them maybe another week they do you just have to keep looking sometimes I'll post them in my twitch stream sometimes I post them in my videos I've gotten these over a month ago and I haven't seen these come out again so definitely if you see these come up just buy them even if they're 3% damage to elite ones that's still better than nothing for the mask it's rolled firearms it has enemy armor damage and damage to elites then the mods are firearm mods with damage to elites for the knee pads the road firearms they have enemy armor damage they have increased kill xp they have disorient resistance and then damage to elites now since this is a pve build i don't mind having increased kill xp on there you really want to have that damage to elites and you want to have that enemy armor damage on there for the mods i have fire mods with four percent damage to elites and then performance mod with two percent post crit hit damage so i am going to run a pulse with this build because i want to hit as hard as i can why are you running critical hit damage we'll, we'll talk about that in a second for the backpack it's rolled firearms it has major attribute of nine percent critical hit damage and then minor attribute of burn resistance again you guys are going to ask me why are you stacking critical hit damage on a hunter's faith build well it all has to do with the talent that is on my gun so i'm stacking critical hit damage on my backpack and then of course the performance mods i'm going to run the two percent critical hit damage for the mods, I'm running fire mods with damage to elites, and then the performance mods with 2% post crit hit damage for the gloves the road firearms they have marksman rifle damage critical hit damage and the enemy armor damage yes critical hit damage it's key for this build the way i have it set up you want to have that critical hit damage there and then you do want to have enemy armor damage there for the holster my major attribute is critical hit chance you could put health here now if we get into my sniper rifle it is the m700 this marksman rifle has 169 percent headshot damage the base damage on it is 168,000. now the talents that make this gun are deadly critical Hit damage is increased by 15%. Prepared damage is increased by 15% when more than 30 meters from the target. And then discipline, which is key for this build. And the reason why I was stacking so much critical hit damage on my build, killing a target will make the next shot with the weapon an automatic critical hit. So as soon as I kill a target with this gun, my next shot's gonna be an automatic critical hit. And if I hit that target in the head, my numbers are gonna be really
really high. And that's why stacking deadly on my M700, stacking critical hit damage on my backpack, and then putting those pulse crit hit damage mods are gonna help me hit a lot harder. The way I have this modded is I'm stacking 19% critical hit damage, 3% critical hit chance, and then it has 4.5 optimal range on the C79 scope. I'm running a large suppressor with 18% critical hit damage, 2.5 critical hit chance, and 5.5 headshot damage. I'm running a small grip with 19% critical hit damage, 4.5 optimal range, and 2.5 stability. And then an extended magazine with 120% magazine size, 3% critical hit chance, and 4% critical hit damage. A lot of you guys might ask me, well, why don't you stack more headshot damage? Well, I'm not going for that headshot damage. I'm going for that headshot critical hit damage. So as soon as I kill a target, I'm gonna get 100% chance to hit that high critical hit damage. So stacking more critical hit damage on my suppressor and my scope than headshot damage is gonna benefit me a lot more. For my secondary, you can pretty much run whatever gun you want. I choose to have a lightweight M4 on here. It has 24% enemy armor damage, so it works towards towards NPCs and that's why I chose to put an assault rifle on here versus an SMG. It has 22,000 base damage. It has responsive, deadly, and unforgiving. The way I have this is I have 7.5 critical hit chance, 4% critical hit damage, 6% headshot damage. I have a loud vent break with 19% critical hit damage stability, critical hit chance, a small grip with 19% critical hit damage stability and reload speed. And then I have an extended magazine with 121% magazine size, critical hit chance, and rate of fire. If we get into my skills, I like running a tactical scanner because your damage is increased when you pulse the target. Plus, my critical hit chance is going to be at 7%. And then my critical hit damage is going to get a boost of 17%. And you see the adding critical hit damage here and there, I'm going to have a pretty good critical hit damage when I hit my pulse. Since this build is definitely a build that I stay back, I don't mind running a booster shot. It's going to help me hit a lot harder. Now, if you want to have some kind of survivability, you might run over an overdose. But the difference between an overdose and a booster shot at this point when you're only getting healed for about 20,000 more really isn't a big difference, especially since I'm going to be way in the back. This is going to come back every 51 seconds and my pulse is going to come back every 56 seconds. And since I don't have a real heal, I use a recovery link as my backup plan. So with this build, since a lot of times I am running solo or I am in the back, I do like running critical save. As always, use a med kit during low health to increase damage resistance by 20% for 10 seconds. I like having strike back, that way I can get my pulse back, my booster shot back, reach low health to reduce active skill cooldowns by 20%. Since I'm not usually near a player, I don't run combat medic. I also don't choose to run triage, since the chances of me healing an ally with any of my skills is probably low. But I do like running tactical advance. Complete a cover to cover move it increases your weapon damage by 2% per meter covered for 5 seconds, up to a maximum of 30%. So technically you guys can get an additional 30% extra damage when using tactical advance. And then I also like stacking precision on here, headshot a hostile to pulse them for 10 seconds. So these are the 4 talents you really want to have on when you're running this build. Now if we get into my character, you're going to see on my M700, my critical hit chance is 12%, which isn't really high, but that's still pretty decent. But since I do have that talent, when I kill a target, I will get 100% critical hit chance. My critical hit damage is 126%, and you stack that with my headshot damage that's 195%. When I pulse, I hit my booster shot, that's a lot of damage stacked to the head. So that's why you can one shot open world bosses with this build. My damage truly is 48%, so I'm gonna have that increased damage against those elite and named enemies. I'm gonna have the enemy armor damage of 25%, so I'm gonna eat through that armor, and that's why having this 48%, having this enemy armor damage of 25%, stacking that critical hit damage, stacking that headshot damage, I'm gonna be putting out a lot of damage with this build. So that pretty much wraps up my build, guys. This is my one shot almost every boss in the game, and even two to three shot those bosses who have a lot of armor. If you guys have any questions after watching this video, use the comment section down below. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys hit the thumbs up, and also comment if you don't even have any questions. Help support my videos. Make sure you guys watch these videos all the way to the end. I just wanna say thank you guys again for all the support. You guys are amazing. If this is the first time you're watching a video, hit that subscribe button. If you don't see me in Last Stand, if you don't see me in Skirmish, if you don't see me in the Dark Zone, it's only a matter of time. Nothing but skills out.